How can you distinguish between a benign and cancerous parotid tumor? I'm Dr. Bob Aclario from Center for Advanced Parotid and Facial Nerve Surgery. Parotid tumors come in varying sizes, from small to massive. That doesn't in and of itself tell you if this is benign or cancerous. But if the tumor is growing rapidly, that is a warning sign. If the tumor is mobile, that's a good sign. But if the tumor is fixed and you can't move it around, that's also an ominous sign. If you're having numbness around here, or if you're having pain, or obviously if your fa face is paralyzed and not moving, those also seem to indicate that the tumor is aggressive and invading into the nerves. And the best way to figure that out is obviously doing a needle biopsy. In the parotid gland, 20% of the tumors are benign, are, I'm sorry, cancerous, and 80% are benign. So most often it's benign. But until you put a needle in the mass here, and see what it is, you're not gonna know what you're dealing with. If you're interested in clear parotid information on what to do next, visit us at prodidnd.com.